Welcome to Brief History Conspiracy Additional. Uh, this week, a topic episode on Jeffrey Epstein. Fantastic. Or Epstein, depending on uh, how you yeah. think it should be pronounced. We always have a bit of a meeting before we do these episodes, and half the meeting has been arguing about whether it's Epstein or Epstein. to our channel please consider liking and subscribing it really does help us right so a few important points about Epstein before we move on he was a hedge fund manager so yep. he moved money around for rich people that, that was his job he had his own private jet his own private island he was very good friends with Bill Clinton and um, Trump which we're going to intertwine during this conversation um, but there are a million videos out there that tell you all about this stuff and it's, it's in the media we know it yeah a lot of the rumours going around are basically that he was suicided um, because of things he knew about Clinton or Trump and things that he knew was going to embarrass them or, or possibly in, put them end up in prison. Um, but again, we'll go into that in a sec. And um, assume by uh, suicided you mean uh, he was uh, murdered and it was made to look like a suicide. Yeah. But allegedly... I'm going to say mm. allegedly a lot in this video. I'll, 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 I'll go with the word allegedly. But... Yeah, allegedly. So, in 2008, he was found guilty of procuring an underage prostitute, uh, Mr Epstein. There has been complaints that he molested a 14-year-old girl. There have been other complaints over the years. And in 2019, he was arrested and charged with sex trafficking. Um, he was charged on July the 6th and he died on August the 9th. Comedy of errors around his suicide. He attempted to commit suicide previously, was put on suicide watch. Some bright spot decided then that he was fine and took him off suicide watch. He then hung himself in his cell, in a federal cell that are designed to not let you be able to hang yourself. Two guards that were supposed to be watching him were both fell asleep for three hours and then lied about it. They can't find the video footage around the cell. And um, when they did the coroner's report, the coroner has said there are several broken bones around the trachea, around your Adam's apple area. But that yet, is more congruent with a murder rather than suicide. But yeah, he should have had nothing that he could hang himself with. Yes, they take your shoelaces off you, they take the elastic out of your pants, they do significant things to try to stop it. I mean, it's still I mean, especially possible. Especially since he been put on suicide watch, yeah. you would expect that there were no articles in there that he could possibly hang himself with. That's the theory. Um... This is, this is one of those stories that is so ridiculous, I'm almost inclined, inclined to actually believe it. Because, I mean, what we're talking about is that, that it's so stupid that if somebody was actually an assassin or, or somebody suicided him, they did it so badly. But I am going to come back to this as well. They did this so badly, but maybe they did it so badly because they had to. Bit of a rush job, maybe? Possibly. Yeah, I suppose time, time is of the essence. He was possibly had some kind of information that they really didn't want out. Mm. Right, so it's... That's potentially on Trump, maybe? And possibly Clinton. And possibly Clinton, which would be current and former Prime Minister, uh, Presidents yeah. of America, which yeah. makes sense that... And there's other people as well that he was very close with, even including uh, members of the royal family. So there are several people that wanted this man dead. There'll be several people that, even if, this, even if there is no conspiracy and he did commit suicide, there'll be a lot of very powerful people that are very happy he did it. Um, there'll be, you know, a sigh of relief. So, we'll just very quickly touch on his connections to Clinton and Trump, but then I really want to get into what I think is more likely with this scenario. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, in the early 2000s, um, he became quite friends with Clinton. Yep. Um, Clinton went, they went on some world tour together. Clinton seemed to like that he had his own jet, this, this um, Epstein guy had his own jet. They, he, he's, got his, he's got his own little island, little St. James Island. They visited that, allegedly. Some people say he did, some people say he didn't. Um, flight rosters have started to come out to, that show that actually Clinton was on this guy's jet a you, lot you had more a private than he admitted island. I'd expect to visit your private island. Yeah, yeah. I'd, if, I'd, if, you, if your mate's got a private island, you'd expect yeah. you'd get the offer at least once to go and have a you know holiday there for a week or something. Yeah, you'd get it occasionally. Well, wouldn't you? You'd expect it off, yeah. off of a friend yeah. that owns an island. You would not expect it, but yeah. you'd think it, the invite might be forthcoming. Mate, you don't point. even invite me to your house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they spent a lot of time together. There's this, and there's this painting that's come out. But when I saw this painting, first of all, I thought, well, that's just, that's, somebody's done that. You know, you see a lot of this stuff, these photos and images and memes and things on, on Facebook, and you go, well, that's not true. Yeah. And then I looked into it, it is. It's Bill Clinton 
in a blue dress, sat on a chair, and this is they found this in Epstein's home, basically hanging on the wall. Um, and then somebody's gone through then and found images of Hillary wearing basically the same dress. Um, so, and, and let's be honest, we weird. know Bill Clinton sexually was was is, was an active young man. Yeah, active is um, a good word. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's I mean, say what you like about Bill. The the one thing that as soon as you say Bill Clinton, you think Monica Lewinsky. You just you always go into they're synonymous with each other. It, he did many great things as a president, but he also copped head in the Oval Office. So so there are things. Trump, it gets worse. Yeah. Well, um, I, 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 yeah. If somebody, what Epstein knew about Clinton would be embarrassing. What Epstein allegedly knew about Trump will get the man put in prison. Allegedly. I'm going to say yeah. allegedly. A lot. <laughs> Multiple um, times. So, um, yeah. There have been allegations against um, Trump that he raped a 13 year old girl while with Epstein. There was a court case and a lawsuit placed against uh, this yeah. young lady, and it was called on Jane Doe, so her name wasn't released, just before the election, the Trump election, um, that was dropped. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. Um, there was a quote in 2002 from Donald Trump saying that um, Epstein is a terrific guy. Uh, he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. So Jane Doe's lawyer, uh, Lisa Bloom, um, when they dropped the allegations, mm -hmm. this was literally two or three days before the election, Yeah. Um, and they cited threats made. There had been significant threats made. She alleges, Trump at one point says, um, basically to shut up or you'll disappear like the other lady. And, and that's the thing, allegedly. That's conspiracy. That, that's, that's, we don't know that. But Ivana Trump, his first wife, Ivana <laughs> Trump. Um, it's it's like a really crap Bond villain. It is almost, yeah. Ivana yeah. Humpelot. Or something from Austin um, Powers, yeah. Exactly. Um, she's actually legally under a gag order after they were um, divorced that she is not allowed to talk about their marriage without Donald Trump's permission. Right? And she alleges he raped her. But, and Donald Trump doesn't necessarily, or Donald Trump's solicitors don't necessarily deny this. They say, legally, he didn't rape her because you can't rape someone you're married to in America. You couldn't in this country until about 10 or 15 years ago and they changed the laws. So that now, obviously, you, you, I, I, I could rape my wife if I wanted to. I don't know, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. But legally you couldn't rape your wife and apparently that's still the case or was at least still the case at this time. Okay. So the solicitors don't, his lawyer, sorry, they don't say, well, it never happened. He just says, legally, it wasn't rape. That's pretty horrific. Um, and there's, I don't have to say allegedly that, but that happened. Oh, and we all know as well, that. the famous saying when Donald Trump, um, I do this man become president. He said, but again, this was came out before the election. Um, mm. when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. He said that it's recorded mm. again and has been repeated a million times. And this man still became president. And women vote for him. Because he was chosen. Well, that might be something that we can talk into next. So, we've talked in the past, not really on this channel yet, but because we, we're still in the in the depth of history at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, very much in the depths of history. Yeah, but we've talked about like a cabal or a cult or a group of very. We I think we talked about it in the last episode when we we're talking about the um, this yeah. this the end of the world coming and the wealthy elite know and. A, Prepared. There's a prevalence of secret societies through the entire recorded human history. Yeah. So to think that there aren't secret societies that operate, exist and operate today still is very naive. Yeah. Now, I, I think I've kind of got an idea how this would work. And this is why I'm going to be talking about Epstein and I really want to remember the fact that he was a hedge fund manager. Mm -hmm. So the internet is, is rife saying that this is all to do with Bill Clinton and Trump and the how embarrassed they would be if some of this stuff came out, or possibly even Trump ended up in prison, or allegedly. Yeah. Um, or I, think it, it, I think there are, there is an argument to say it could go much deeper than that. And there are actually people, if there is this sort of group, or these this secret organisation, 
that they would not want it, they would have to because he could potentially unravel the whole damn thing. Right, so let me explain. We all know like low-level celebrities and stuff, we have these things, these fixes, mm. do you know what I mean? So a, a celebrity gets into trouble and the fixer sort of sorts things. They might bribe a, bribe somebody or... They, they, and these, these people, they tend to know local coppers and they might know a judge or something and they, 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 they know people who know people and they, they fix problems. I, I consider that sort of be to like almost like the low level of, of, of what we're talking about. Yeah, right? okay. Um, the fixers will then have people above them that sort of will know judges and federal judges and counsellors and, and this sort of thing. So if you've got a problem on a more like state level, they can mm -hmm. come in and they can fix that shit. And then you'll have something above that. Right. Yeah, there'd be some kind of tiered hierarchy. Yes, you, yeah, I, I agree right. with that to, to, to some extent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and I, I, and I could co completely see as well that that this is an ancient sort of agreement between the wealthiest that they would almost sort of say like we need to look after each other. I almost sort of say, going back to like the royal families of old sort of thing. That obviously the problems back then were very different, but they get together and they agree that we're going to look after each other. Yeah. I think on a national level. I think on a national level, what laws do we want in place? What pressure do we want to put to make uh, make sure that we keep all our money and they don't? And, and you know, so on a national level, on a on a personal level, there's something come out. It's or or, or or my business is in trouble from a threat from there. Or okay, how do we deal with that threat? Or how do we think this? So they would you know sort of like helping each other all the time, but or. This embarrassing thing's about to come out about me. How do we quiet it? You know? Well, when most of <coughs> the world's media is owned by, 90% of the Western media is owned by six companies or so, in the mm -hmm. hands of very few people, and those media tycoons are the ones that also go to the Bilderberg Group meetings, yeah. there would be a very easy way to then arrange for it not to appear in the media. So, yeah. So, the Bilderberg Group... They meet once a year, yeah, always a somewhere year. different, always quiet. Um, yeah, people, it's, it's, different people get invited, don't they? Yeah, but, um, it's either America or, or Europe, <coughs> isn't it? It's, it's in the Western Western world somewhere, yeah. so to speak. Um, yeah, and 120 of the world's wealthiest people meet. Royalty, yeah. industrial ty titans, yeah. intelligence agency operatives. It's government officials. Government all officials, this sort of thing. presidents, prime ministers. Um, yeah. It's actually illegal. Uh, for our prime minister to attend mm. and to discuss so, and discuss global mm. global agenda mm. uh, without the meetings being recorded and the mm. information that's been discussed being televised to the British people. Well, prime minister goes. It's just yeah. every weekend that it, whenever that weekend appears, his diary's free. Yeah, well, nowadays you wouldn't even have to attend, would he? They could, they could do it through. All you have to do is be oh, sit oh, next to a 3D phone thing. Royalty, uh, most yeah. of the European royalty that, that's left to attend. And so this could almost be like the, uh, like the managers' meeting of what we're talking about. Yeah, it is. If I think that's a, almost what it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it, if it's, there's it's, this it's... agreement, it's just sort of get together, and there'll be levels of that as well. They'll be... Yeah, they're like the top of the, the pyramidal structure, aren't they? Yeah. And then once they've had their meeting and discussed World it's Agenda for the next down. 12 months, it's then filtered down yeah. through the rest of the, the think about system. when we have like G20 meetings, when we have the governments and the heads of state come. All the heads of state appear, but what you don't see is all the other meetings in all the other rooms where things are actually getting talked about and, 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 and sorted, and then things are just rubber-stamped by the, the heads of state. So they'll come and go, okay, we've agreed this, this and this, and then the heads of state will go, yeah, okay. And then they'll do all their stuff, their press conferences and things. But the point is, the, the heads of state aren't actually doing the talking. It's all the it's all the minions that are running around in the background you don't really see. Yeah. So, and I'm sure this Bilderberg is probably that type, but this is probably just the, this is just the rubber stamping. If, if you were going to suicide somebody, right, you would have to make sure there was no paper trail, all right? And if you wanted to put in laws that make your life easier, again, no paper trail. So the way to do that is for it to be sort of invisible. So my, my thinking on that are two, are two fronts. These guys have been doing it forever. Hmm. So this is why the tax code is an example for this. Right? Mm -hmm. I've always wondered why the tax code is like that thick. You know, it's like, it's like books and books and books. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be. It should be reasonably straightforward. 
right? and there shouldn't be lots of loopholes and things and things, but it's designed to be complicated. Yes, yeah, very complicated, so the, so, layman, so the layman can't yeah. understand it. So somebody mm. very early on as a group has decided that and orchestrated that to make it so that the wealthy, the, and, and, and well, the wealthy well, aren't. Well, why does the legal system really exist? Go on. Well, nine tenths of the law is about possession, so it's to yeah. protect rich people's assets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you have. A, and then a, the, other, a, the other stuff is the violent yeah. crime, but in a much smaller percentage to the yeah. possession of material wealth. And then you make accessing that as difficult as possible by making it expensive. Yeah. Oh, and um, also more complicated it is, the more expensive is, the less normal people can access it. And also write the uh, write the, 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 the write the the laws in a language that the commoner can't understand. I was just going to say that as Le well. Legalese. I've gone through a lot of legal actions in the last couple of years, unfortunately, and I sit there in the court and I don't understand a word anyone's saying, and I'm reasonably bright, um, reasonably, um, <laughs> and I don't understand a word they're saying. I can't no. I can't read the documents they send back because they make no sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, that's I love it when the that's bill comes and I don't understand the damn bill. I guess, can you just tell me how much I owe you, for the love of God? Why Why do I owe you this? And it, it makes no sense. You can't read the damn thing. Um, that feels on purpose. Hmm. So the point is, I think this our system has been set up, but it's been set up possibly by this organisation that we're talking about, this agreement between the wealthy. And I don't think this will have... I, I very much doubt they have secret handshakes and things. I think it's it's probably just an agreement. I, I, I said to you before that, I almost like use like the NATO example. Well, there are there are some good examples of the secret handshakes that... Do, I think Masons and, they and stuff it. like that. Masons have a, a handshake, don't they? I like that one that was... Um, it was a uh, secret handshake. It was you know, it sucks a nipple. <laughs> it's like a pocket. <laughs> you show the nipple. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> That's the secret handshake. That's quite an unusual one, but yeah. <laughs> That's how you know they're a member of the group, is that if they show you their nipple. Um, I can't remember what that was on. It's on too much TV show, isn't it? Okay. Um, cool. I, I want to say um, Liam Neeson. No, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, it'd be more like the Leslie Nielsen thing than the Liam um, Neeson thing. I just said, the, yeah. That's how they knew they were in the secret. Yes. So, yeah, so secret if they've awesome. set up this legal, the legal system, and we've got this, this group or this agreement between people as well. I think they would have set up, and that's why, going back to the money trail, or the, or the paper trail, how would you pay for something like this? Because if there was an organisation and they were getting together and they were suiciding people or pressuring governments for to change laws and doing things, that, then that, that requires a system, doesn't it? That, and that yeah. would be expensive. Well, CIA slush funds. Well, that's government, though, isn't it? So that would be black ops and things. This is, this is a private organisation. They obviously have thread through government, I, I think government. they've infiltrated government, the military industrial complex, and they have people throughout the entire American mm. political and military system. Come back to that in a second because that's an interesting point. But come back to let me just finish this this thought and then I'll come back to that. Okay. Um, I think there are ways that because this because of the way the system is set up, there are ways that this can be legally done though. Because and I want to go back to Epstein being a hedge fund manager. Mm -hmm. So you're in a private organisation. Yep. You basically, and I said I, I, a moment ago, I said the NATO, uh, NATO example. So in NATO, government, governments get together, they put all the money in, and they create a fighting force to defence. And then, but then the agreement is whoever gets attacked, that entire force then protects them. Right. So everyone works together to help whoever it is that's a member. I see this almost being like a similar thing, that everybody they put in their fees. And, and it is just understood that if someone's in trouble, that they need to be helped, sort of thing. So mm -hmm. if this was because of the Clintons or Trump, Trump necessarily wouldn't have had to say, I want him dead. He wouldn't have had to. And then that, that would potentially create some sort of paper trail or witnesses and things. The group just knows that, that, it need, that needs to be, this is something that needs to be dealt with. It's a self-defence mechanism. And it's automatic almost. And it's paid for through things like hedge funds so I put my million quid in I get two percent interest but really they can generate eight or nine percent interest mm -hmm. so that's how they pay for it that's where the money comes from and yeah, all these fixes and things they'll have fancy titles like consultants there'll be a consultant in something or there'll be a pressure group 
or they'll be like like the NRA and things like this that seem to be incredibly well funded and these bodies that push American governments to mm. do whatever the hell they want to do are very, very well funded. Oh yeah, if you look at the, the, the amount of money spent lobbying Congress in America, it's phenomenal. Yeah. So to go back to that American point you made, I generally have a theory that the mm. American government was infiltrated from day one, even before they built Washington. Oh yeah, if you look at the formation of the Federal Reserve, um, mm. and who was the pre was it Harry Truman at the yeah, time? Yeah, that was World War just after just, just before World just War Two or World War One. Nineteen sixteen, I think the, the yeah. Federal Reserve was formed. World War One. So it's just before, uh, just sorry, in the middle of World World War One, wasn't it? Yeah. But, um The American government basically came to the wealthy people and, and you know, like the. the Rockefellers and all this sort of thing saying, well, no, right, okay, was, we want it, money. Yeah, I mean, the, the the exact list of who actually owns the Federal Reserve Bank isn't published. It's no. a privately owned bank that prints yep. money and then charges mm. it at interest to the American government, thus creating mm. a self-serving debt that the American taxpayers have to pay back to the bankers yeah. for printing the money mm. and the interest that they're owed on that money. But I think if we actually go back before that... But they, and create, we'll back to that they create the money so, yeah. out of thin air. So yeah, so the, the, yeah, exactly. Wealthy people. The, the the president of America at the time came to us. We were okay. We want to fund the war effort, and these wealthy families went. That's fine. We'll give you the money, but in return, we're going to create this federal bank, and we want to control the Federal Reserve. And we want to control that money. They had them by the short and curlies. Truman agreed, and then America has been a private company ever since. It was also a very sneaky deal that was done. It was done on Christmas Day in nineteen sixteen on mm. um, Easter Island. Mm. Easter Island? Why would they do it on Easter Island? I'm sure it was on it, like Easter Island. It was on some remote... On Christmas no, no, Day, hold on. No, was it, was it, no, 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 hold on. It was, it was on an island somewhere. It was done on Christmas yeah. Day when most of Congress were at home with their families when they passed the bill that enacted the Federal Reserve and it was done Everyone did it on an the island, slide. sneakily. Yeah. Yeah. Really and you call sneakily. it the Federal Reserve so it sounds like it's a government... When it's in no thing. way federal. Um, it's, it's a privately owned bank. I've said to you as well, so they, then they make sure that oil is spent by the dollar mm -hmm. and traded by the dollar, basically falsely expanding the American um, economy, economy, but almost doubling mm -hmm. it. America's economy would collapse overnight if everybody stopped buying oil in dollars. Yeah, hence the Iraq war. But well, that's a later video. Um, but I actually think this in, in, in sort of invasion of the... I don't think these, these wealthy people ever actually invaded or took over the government. I think they built the government up from day one. Because the American mm. country is kind of unique in, in our history. Most mm -hmm. countries evolve over hundreds of thousands of years um, and, and, and cultures develop. The American situation was different. We sort of discovered it, tentatively went over for a couple hundred years, and then, but then we really hit it and started creating a country and a nation. But I think money talks. And my, my thinking is that big, the royal families or the very wealthy of Europe saw what was going on in, in America, went over and did things like building the railways and things like this, but they had the opportunity to do it from scratch. They had the opportunity to actually build the, mm -hmm, the, infrastructure. the infrastructure from scratch and own all of it and have all these monopolies. Mm -hmm. All these very small number of people went over with reasonable amount of money and bought a country yeah yeah well, you look at them from day one so but basically the, the theory goes is it was the carnegie's was the steel industry yeah and they were financed by the rothschilds the rockefellers was the oil industry financed yeah. by the rothschilds mm. um yeah so basically the rothschilds mm. were the the family at the, the, the head of everything and then they had mm. people under them different families that then took Doing control different of a different natural resource each but it was all funded through the rothschilds mm and then filtered down through these families that have now become yeah. very rich, like the Rockefellers. Yeah. Sorry, there would be elements of the American government that would do anything to protect that office. <laughs> Alex Jones' infiltration of Bohemian Grove, <laughs> worshipping a 40-foot owl, yeah, uh, whilst, on performing, fire. whilst performing <laughs> mock human sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> and you finally did it at the end. Here we are, get in. Um, I've said it far more than I needed to. <laughs> Every single time I'm like, hope he breaks this time. <laughs>